Hello and welcome again to Wood Recognition Wednesday with Wonky Workshop. This week we're going to be taking a look at American cherry as we call it in Europe, or black cherry as it's known in the United States and Canada. Cherry then naturally in colour, as it is a slight reddish tinge to a brown. It can quite often in UV light go paler, more towards almost like a mahogany colour and is quite often used in restoration of mahogany furniture or cabinetry for that reason. The grain is quite wide, and I'll turn it round, I've pre-wetted it so that you can see the grain there and you've got those lovely lines. Cherry can be a gorgeous wood, absolutely stunning wood, is used an awful lot in furniture for that reason. And on the sides here you can see where I've highlighted it on the side grain you do get these black marks, these black speckling through cherry. Now, when you put finish on cherry over time, it will actually darken down quite a lot, so those black specks get hidden. So if we do a comparison now between sycamore and cherry, so that's the non-wetted side of the cherry there, you can see a nice contrast between the two. Okay, so for a different comparison then, rather than the sycamore, I also have some freshly split European cherry. And so this is still quite green, so it's got quite high moisture content. This has been wetted on one side compared to its standard side. We can see here quite a stark color difference. So although I can't demonstrate it, cherry is exceptionally good with steam bending, similar properties to that of beech. It's also used quite a lot in uh, making musical instruments, I've seen it in guitars and various other things there. It works very nicely, particularly with electric guitars. Um, dominantly cabinet making, furniture making and veneers and that kind of thing. There are a few negatives. It does tend to bind quite easily on blades. Uh, such as on your table saw, or your chop saw, or your, um, your bandsaw blades, which can generate a lot of friction and burn the edges of the timber. Uh, it's more common with cherry than it is with other woods, particularly if you've got some figuring in it. The best way to avoid this is clean fresh blades, uh, make sure they're sharp, and um, take it slowly. Uh, it does also darken over time, as I've mentioned, which if you're matching it in with mahogany, is fine, it kind of uh, patch matches quite well. However, if you're wanting to keep that lovely rich luster after something you've freshly oiled or waxed, it's gonna darken anyway. Even with UV protectors, that just delays the process. It will darken down and become sort of this, it's basically a, a shade of brown, if you like. So that is also a negative to be aware of. Well, thank you for watching the video. I hope you found it interesting and useful. Uh, just please stay tuned for more information on how you can win the blanks being shown on the screen now. And if you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of more coming up in the series.